So we finished talking about the transfer of uh, messenger RNA. Now we go to the next one, transfer RNA. Transfer RNA, um, the function of it is the first, first bullet point. It transfers amino acid to the ribosomes. That's the main, main function. Uh, the shape is a foot like shape. In the next slide, it will show you the structure. On one end of the transfer RNA, on one end of the transfer RNA, we have an amino acid. On the opposite end of the transfer RNA, we have an anticodon. So remember, do not mix up the two. Codon, you can find codon on messenger RNA. And you can find anticodon on transfer RNA. And we call it anticodon because it is it also has a triplet code. That means three uh, bases. The three bases is complementary to the codon on the messenger RNA. That's why we call it anticodon on the transfer RNA. And uh, uh, anticodon, uh, they said that the codon on the messenger RNA. The codon on the messenger RNA determine um, the which tRNA, which transfer RNA, and also it determine which amino acid. So here it gives you an example. Uh, the codon on the messenger RNA is CGG, and then the anticodon should be what GCC, and the anticodon is on the tRNA, and the Amino acid that is carried by this uh, transfer RNA will be arginine. You can actually see this CGG cook for arginine in the previous slides. So CGG, C, G, G. You see a CGG cook for arginine. So this is how the, a transfer codon looks like. It has an arginine at one end of the uh, uh, at one end of the um, of this uh, transfer RNA, and then on the other hand, you have this uh, anticodon. And transfer RNA is also a form of um, RNA, so that's why it uses U. Now the last type is called ribosomal RNA. Ribosome is basically made, uh, you have two types, I already told you that. One is called free, free floating or free ribosome. And then another, the other type is uh, attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. When ribosome attached to the endoplasmic reticulum, it, uh, then we call it rough ER. Rough ER, again, I want to emphasize that it is the extension of the nuclear membrane. Rough ER is the extension of the nuclear membrane. The reason why we call it rough ER is that uh, when early scientists look at this uh, organelle under the microscope, they see that the uh, endoplasmic reticulum looks rough. The reason why it looks rough is because it has a lot of thought on it, the dot, they are the ribosome attached to it. And ribosome is made up of proteins and ribosomal RNA, rRNA. So uh, pro protein plus rRNA will make you a uh, ribosome. There are two ribosomal subunits, small and large. So um, on the ribosome, you have uh, three sites. You have three sites that um, that are required to do the translation. Let's take a look at the picture. It is easier to understand. So ribosome has a large subunit on top, small subunit at the bottom. And then you have a three site, E, P, A. A, you can call it the amino site. P, you can call it the peptide site. And then E, is, you, may, you may call it exit site. 
And then what happened is that the tRNA, uh, not the messenger RNA is right. The messenger RNA is like a ribbon that go through the large and the small subunit, go between them. And then what happened is that um, it is actually the small subunit to get hold, to grab the messenger RNA. And the large subunit is the one that uh, will grab the free floating tRNA uh, from the cytoplasm so that it will bind to it. When tRNA first bind, first go into the ribosome, it will first go into the amino site, the A site. And then after this, it will move to the P site. It goes to the P site, and then the new, the new tRNA will go to the A site. And then the amino acid in the P site will be transferred to the amino acid in the A site. There's an enzyme to do this, we call it peptidotransferase. This peptidotransferase will transfer the amino acid from the P site onto the A site. And then uh, after this, um, the ribosome will just keep on moving along the Trans, uh, messenger RNA, and then it, it, uh, in this case, it will keep having this going, uh, it will keep grabbing the new transfer RNA, and so on, and then the polypeptide chain will get elongated. And we call this polyribosome because one strand of the messenger RNA, you have multiple ribosome uh, binds to it so that each ribosome will simultaneously uh, translate the messenger RNA into uh, polypeptide. So you have a polypeptide here, polypeptide here, polypeptide here, polypeptide, polypeptide here. So they will do the translation simultaneously. So it says that translation requires three steps. Um, Initiation, elongation, and termination. The first two steps requires energy. The last step does not require energy because the last step, um, once it hits the stop codon, everything is disassembled. So initiation. Um, initiation, uh, the tRNA attached to the start codon, AUG, that's the uh, important part. And then um, ribosome has three binding sites. You see the peptide, amino acid, and the exit site. So I told you before, the, this is the start codon, AUG. And then start codon, AUG, and this transfer RNA has the methionine amino acid attached to it. Anticodon, UAC. So the small subunit will grab hold of the messenger RNA and as soon as it binds the uh, AUG start codon, then it will actually start at the P site uh, with the messenger, with the transfer RNA attached to it. So it will be like the start codon initiating here. A site is ready for the next tRNA. The elongation occur. Um, it occur one amino acid at a time, and um, so let's take a look. So remember the start codon. The start codon, methionine start with the P side here, and after this, it will uh, the next transfer RNA carry the next amino acid and the next anticodon here will go to the A side, and after this, then um, the the whatever polypeptide or the methionine will be transferred to here. So as I said, it's an enzyme called uh, peptidotransferase. You will form a 
covalent bond, a peptide bond between the two amino acids and move the chain to this one. And after this, the entire, entire assembly will shift so that the, this, this transfer RNA will move to the E side. This transfer RNA with the polypeptide chain will move to the P side. And then as soon as this one goes to the E side, then it will leave because it's the exit side. And then as soon as this one goes to P side, then you will have another new transfer RNA move into the A side, and then they can con they will repeat the step one. Okay, termination. Termination is the final step of the protein synthesis. And uh, the, it is when the uh, ribosome uh, go uh, hit or, or meet the um, stop codon. When the ribosome meet the stop codon, then uh, the ribosome will dissociate into two subunits, uh, releasing the messenger RNA uh, and also releasing the uh, uh, polypeptide. Actually, it will inject the polypeptide into the rough ER. So this is what happened. Uh, there's a releasing factor, which is a protein that can bind to the stop codon. And after, after it binds to the stop codon, everything disassembles. Um, uh, messenger RNA leaves the small subunit. The polypeptide chain, uh, theoretically, it will be injected into the rough ER so that the rough ER can uh, start some uh, modification. For example, rough ER will remove the first 30 amino acid in the polypeptide chain. It will also remove the, uh, uh, the uh, guanine cap, the poly A cap, the first 30 amino acid, and then you also start to fold the polypeptide chain into secondary and tertiary structure. So this is the overview of the uh, uh, gene expression. So at first you have the DNA here. DNA is uh, go. You will you will have the transcription occur. Transcription occur will make the precursor RNA, precursor messenger RNA, or pre-mRNA. Pre-mRNA pre contains intron. So we have to go through the uh, uh, modification or the splicing process to cut out or remove the intron. So that the mature RNA, messenger RNA will contain exon only. And then we kept the 3 prime N and 5 prime N, 3 prime N with the poly A tail and 5 prime N with the guanine cap. And then so that the mature messenger RNA can be shipped out from the nucleus into the cytoplasm through the nuclear pore. And then in the cytoplasm, the messenger RNA will go into the rough ER. And the small subunit of the rough, uh, ribosome will capture the messenger RNA. And then um, the start codon, uh, methionine, uh, will will uh, will be will be carried by the transfer RNA to go to the codon AUG on the messenger RNA, and it will start at the P site here, and then after that, then the A site will get the next uh, transfer RNA, and after this, the uh, methionine here will be transferred to the the next amino acid by the enzyme uh, peptidotransferase. Uh, peptidotransferase will form a covalent bond, which is a peptide bond in between the two amino acids. And after this, as the ribosome continues to move forward, then the original, the first transfer RNAs will go to the exit site, and then it will leave. And then the second transfer RNA will go to the P site, and then the third transfer RNA will go to the A site, and then the whole process will repeat until the ribosome go to the uh, stop codon. When the ribosome see the stop codon, uh, there will be a termination factor, which is a protein 
that will go into the A side to bind with the uh, uh, stop codon. And then after this, the entire assembly will, will, will break down. Um, small, the small subunit will release the messenger RNA. And then the um, polypeptide chain will be injected into the uh, rough VR lumen, the lumen of the rough VR. And then rough VR will do some uh, modification, uh, folding the protein, and so on. That's the end of the um, today's lecture, uh, the uh, translation, transcription, the, the end of protein synthesis.